Hello everyone, this is Kimberly of Kim Cup 6 wanting to first wish everyone a, a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. And it is the new year, and I'm just um, presenting to you my Christmas 2010 mini album. This is a foul folder mini album with chipboard covers. And this uh, mini al album was inspired by, I believe, her name is Scrap Diva at My Scrap World. She has several tutorials on how to create these manila file folder albums. And I did use her tutorial with the exception of the chipboard covers. And I didn't want to put the folders back to back and lose those pages. So I created some hinges between the pages and it gave me a little bit more space. But um, the tutorial that inspired this mini was from um, Scrap Diva. I believe she's from um, her YouTube channel is My Scrap World. So thanks, Scrap Diva. Okay, so let me start with this. This is my 2010 Christmas mini album. Uh, the paper line that I used was the Bow Bo Bunny Noel paper pack and a couple of pages from the Basic Grade Jovial paper pad also. So on the cover, I've bound it with some um, some mulberry textured paper, which I mod podged and used some Rudolph Nose Red um, Glimmer Mist. I find that the Mod Podge works um, as well as canvas or anything else, and it makes the binding really sturdy. I've used the trim from the Noel paper pack also. This flower, I've stickled the center and glossy accented uh, from one of the papers, and the leaves are actually from a gift, a box that I got for the packaging from a box for, from Christmas. I printed Christmas memories on my computer and backed it on some green paper and the 2010 um, are gold stickers. I've glimmer missed, no, stickled and glossy accented the holly berries and this paper is so pretty that it didn't need much done to it. Okay, and again, this is a foul folder mini album. And when you open it, on this first page, I've created a trifold and I've stamped and embossed a Christmas tree here with the, and added a glip chitter, glip, a glittered chip star. Sorry about that. And here I've uh, used the poinsettia chip piece as a closure, which I've have Velcro attached to that. And when you open it, it is a place for journaling and photos. There. Close it that way. And opposite that page, I have a nice size photo mat, a sticker border from the Noel collection, and uh, a little chip piece that says Believe. The flowers here have been glimmer misted using the Lindy Stamp Game products. This is Rudolph Nose Red and a gold glimmer mist they have. And then I've used a sticker flourish from the paper uh, pack behind the flower. This page flips down. Give me two more spaces. And on the top space, uh, that's one of those pre-made pages from the Noel collection, which didn't need much done to it. Added a little potted plant here with a, with a cardinal on it. A glossy accent of that and added a sticker that says one big happy. On the bottom of that page, I've used trim from the, from the um, collection. Added some Prima red pearls here. And this was a journaling, a journaling um, die cut from that collection also. So I'll journal on there. I made a pocket with that, popped it up with some pop dots so I could stick the tags in. The tags are actually from the Christmas section in Walmart where they have the tags for presents. And I thought they were so cute. And um, so I distressed the edges and on the back, I simply covered the two in front by adding some paper. So I can use those as photo spots. And this one has the red paper on the back. Okay, and then I have a tag here that I've glimmer messed it up and that 
supposed to be a sticker that says Holly Jolly or something, but I don't think it came out so nice. But I left it there. Nice paper on the back and some ribbon for the pole. Sorry about the phone ringing. I can add a picture here also. Okay, so let's turn the page. And here we have another one of those pre-made pages with a nice photo mat. Glossy accent of the bird here and added a sticker here that says a Christmas to remember. Opposite that I used um, elements from the paper pad to create this pocket and added some chip stickers there and a little chip sticker that says just the season there. And on this page, it's very interesting because my one of my sons gave me some uh, scrapbooking products for Christmas and he saw these at Walmart, these little Christmas tags and he thought I could use them so of course I did. And the, these are just Christmas tags. Mm, this one says Joy, Noel, Seasons Greetings, Warm Wishes, Happy Holidays, Merry Merry. And I added some glittered chip stars to the stars that were already there and when you open it, added a journal spot and a die cut that says Heaven and Nature Sing. And this one, isn't that pretty? The chip sticker says Christmas Joys. Another spot for a die cut, Peace on Earth, and journaling. And these have also been glimmer misted and distressed. And then last in this pocket, a top note tag for picture and journaling or picture on the back. Okay. And the next page is... This is a file folder mini, and I've created a pocket here by folding up a part of the file folder. On the bottom of this side, I had a die cut that says Believe, and stickled the Santa. Added a flourish there from the Noel paper collection. Added a dimensional snowman here, and I will put a picture there. And then for the tags, this first tag... This um, element here was also from Walmart, those paper tags for Christmas, giving away presents. I had a little bling there, that was already on there, just glimmer misted it and added some paper inside for photo or journaling. A little chip sticker that says rejoice, some fiber. This paper was from the Jovial Basic Gray. And on the back, just a plain tag, a little sticker that says time. The next tag has some Prima flowers that have been distressed and glimmer misted. Prima bling in the center and a little tag that says love. This embellishment is from the paper collection. And on the back it says celebrations. And the next tag, more flowers. Prima bling, a mistletoe rub on there. And the back, beautiful paper on the back. And the last tag, I stamped a Santa image here and embossed it and added a poinsettia dimensional sticker there in the back, added lines for journaling and a rub on there. You can also add pictures there. The next two pages added a Merry Christmas die cut. I stickled the ornaments there. This um, element comes from packaging that was that what I that was finished. So I like the pattern that was on it. So I used it to create this little book. Pine cone, pine cone rub on from the paper inside for pictures, and I backed it on some green paper. A little sticker that says toys and tinsels on the bottom. Opposite that, another um, nice sized photo mat. And here are those hinges I said I added to hold the pages together. Worked pretty well. Stickers that says love and together, love and laughter together. Poinsettia um, stickers, a Santa sticker in the middle. Those are those two pages. And turning, we have two more pages. This first side has a photo mat with faux stitching, a die cut Christmas tree that was stickled and glossy accented, and a die cut piece that says wish opposite that. Another nice size photo mat, some Prima black pearls here, 
one of those snow globes that says hope on the bottom and a piece of torn paper here from the Jovio collection. I'm going to put this down so I can flip down the pages for you. And here on the bottom, I have two mirror image pages where I've put some fiber along the torn edge of the papers here. And I have two tags. I'm only going to pull out one because they're both the same. And this first one has, of course, the prima, prima flower on the top. I've embossed an image here. You open it and you have space for journaling on the top and photo on the bottom. Place for picture on the back with more journaling if you like. And I'll add pictures to these spaces here. And on the top of those two pages, I've added... Um, I saw this on a, a YouTube video and I thought I'd try, give it a try and um, I like how it turned out. So I have a ribbon holding them closed and I have a die cut on each one, which when I open this, you'll see. I stickled around the circles and glimmer misted and glossy accented the Santa. And this just opens nice and big. This is four by four. This element is, so it's plenty of space for pictures and journaling there. And it just closes back. And this one is the same. Another die cut. It says joy to the world. Stickled. And it opens. Beautiful paper that one is. More space for journaling and pictures. And I created this this part of the book so that each page would coordinate when the flaps were flap were closed. And see that. Okay. And next two pages, more um, more photo mats, chip pieces on the top and bottom of that. Like I said, the paper was so nice. This was one of those pre-made pages. Didn't need much doing to it. Opposite that. The stickers here spell out the word hope, and that's from the paper collection. Nice photo mat. Again, on one of those floor stickers and a poinsettia. This opens. You have more space for pictures and journaling. The word of here. And at the top here, I added some jingle bell ribbons. And on the last page, created a pocket on this flap. Added this dimensional snowflake with some more of those leaves from packaging I received for Christmas. Top note, photo mat, add pictures there. This folds down. Another photo mat with a rub on and a little sticker that says Holly Jolly. And that top page, uh, the paper already says family tradition, so I just added the sticker numbers and I'll uh, pop up the traditions next to each number. It folds up. And here I have made a pocket page and added comfort and joy and these tags are from also from Walmart and what I did with them was I glimmer misted them added fiber and ribbon to the tags and added paper for pictures and journaling these are simply tags from the Walmart Christmas when they had the Christmas things out and I can add picture here of course and the back is just more of the paper Okay, and that's my Christmas 2010 Memories mini album. And um, thanks for looking. I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, thanks. Thanks again. Bye.